So I just finished Mass Effect Andromeda. And I'm sure people are going to be wondering, why the fuck did you buy that piece of shit game? And simply put, uh, during the holiday sale, the game was on sale for like 15 bucks. And I'm thinking to myself, okay, it's 15 bucks. Might as well try it. And I finished the whole game. I beat the whole game. I did plenty of side quests too. I ended up spending probably like 25 hours in the game, maybe a little bit more. I'm not sure. But I spent a lot of time on that game, enough to have a well-formulated opinion on it at least. And before I bought the game, I was thinking, wow, this game looks like shit. Uh, a lot of the criticism that the game got was related to the awful, awful facial animations the game has. And just the fact that the characters and the story is much weaker than it is in the original Mass Effect trilogy. And I do agree with all, m you know, most of the criticism the game gets. It's not, I'm not, so before the dislikes are left on the video or whatever, I need to clarify that I am not defending the game at all. I don't think that the game uh, is a great game or that it's a, as, as good as any of the original trilogy games. I don't think that at all. Rather, what I'm trying to say is that Andromeda is such an interesting setting, and the, the overall plot of the story, okay, is an overall an interesting one. The, the villains are interesting, you know, the, the, the aliens are interesting, the new species, the new planets, all of them I find to be interesting. Andromeda, you know, no matter what you think about the game itself, Mass Effect Andromeda, if you look at it from a story perspective, and considering the fact that the original trilogy is long and gone, and there's not really, you know, you got to think about what's next for Mass Effect. And I think Andromeda was probably the best thing that they could ever do. Going to a new galaxy, a new world, everything. I think that's probably the best thing that they could have done going forward in the Mass Effect series. And I think that Mass Effect Andromeda deserves a sequel because of that. Because of the fact that Andromeda is a new setting. You know, going back to the original galaxy in Mass Effect, um, I don't know what that would do. People say that well, the next Mass Effect game should be a prequel or something. I, I'm not a big fan of prequels. Just I don't know why. I just not. I'm not a fan of prequels, in any case. I just don't like prequels. I'm very anti-prequel, uh, just because I think that it instead of going forward, you're going back. I I just don't. Most of the prequels I've seen or, or played ends up not being as good as the original. So that's why I'm not a big prequel person. But not just that, but what prequel will you have for Mass Effect? Because all the lore from thousands, hundreds, thousands of years ago, all of that, most of the Mass Effect lore has to do with non-human races. And I don't think that Bioware is ever going to have a Mass Effect game. And they've said this before in interviews. They're not going to have ever a Mass Effect game where you don't play as a human because humans are much more customizable. When you look at all the alien races, they most of them look the same. So there's not much customization there. And I, I just think that having a prequel would just be I, I don't know, I don't think I, I can't think of a single prequel that would that would make sense. More sense than Andromeda at least. I don't think it would. Because Andromeda is a new setting. It's a new thing. It's it's all new. And if you're going to reboot the series, that's the best thing you can do. And if they do make a sequel, they need to make serious changes, though. The facial animations are really, really, really bad. Worse than even the original trilogy. And the original trilogy facial animations weren't that bad for, for its time. But it's kind of sad that I'm going, you know, I'm playing the original three Mass Effect games, and they have better facial animations than. Andromeda does. Like, the Asari look fucking ugly in Andromeda. They look so ugly. So do most of the humans, quite frankly. Like, the, the default uh, the default characters, which, you know, the default characters looking ugly, I, I think people, it's not a big deal as people made it out to be because you could always customize it. Although the customization isn't as good as the original Mass Effect games. Like, in the original Mass Effect games, you're able to choose your, your background and choose all that stuff. So it, there are certain changes that they made that I don't like. I do think that the gameplay is pretty solid, though, in Andromeda. You can't really say anything bad about the gameplay, but in terms of the story and in terms of the characters, like the, the crew in Mass Effect Andromeda, I can't connect with as much as I was able to in the original Mass Effect games. So uh, that that is something that they need to improve character development pretty much. That's what they got to do and have more compelling characters like they did in the original Mass Effect games 
than they do in Andromeda because it's not it's just not working in Andromeda. They they probably need to maybe I'll go into more detail about how I personally would write in Andromeda 2 how I would write a sequel game because they need to make a lot of they need to do a lot of work to to give the Andromeda name a better uh better reputation I guess because Andromeda was not well received and for good reason. I agree the like when I was watching the cutscenes the facial animations are just god awful. Like the guy my my character like he's he's blinking his eyes like he has glue stuck in his eyes or some shit. Like he's he it's just his eye movements are very awkward. He's making weird twitching, you know, movements in his face. And then he talks like he only he talks like he has cerebral palsy. Like he sounds okay, but his lips are moving in like very weird. Like like in the old Dreamcast type games, that, like where the or the PS2 games where the facial animations were weird, it's kind of like that in Andromeda. Uh, graphically, the planets and the environment look beautiful, but the facial animations and the the way the characters look, it's just not good, not good at all. So they need to at least improve that, and they've acknowledged that that's the problem. I even heard that. Bioware actually didn't make the facial animations themselves. They were rushing the game, and they decided to outsource the facial animation part of the game to another company. So, yeah, figures. But while these problems, the problems that Andromeda had were very bad, and they they really, you know, if they do make a sequel, they they do need to be addressed. But I do think that the Andromeda name can be salvaged. There certainly have been much worse games that have had sequels. So if they just fix some of the issues that the game has had that, that and in the sequel, then I think it will turn out to be good. If As long as they have more compelling characters, I would be okay with them killing off the characters like Liam and, and the ones that are just really awful. Killing them off, I, I think, would be great. Another thing, I think they should bring back the Renegade and Paragon system of the original trilogy because you really have no chance of being evil. Like, there's some important choices that the game has, but really nothing compared to the original Mass Effect games at all. Like, the choices aren't as difficult as most of the choices in the original Mass Effect games. So, uh, they need to improve on that. And they just need to make these improvements. You know, make j- just improve the facial animations because that really needs to happen. Uh, improve character development. And just, you know, a- and if you just do those two things, it'll end up being a great game. That's really all you gotta do is to have a more compelling story and have better facial animations. That's really <laughs> what it boils down to. Um, but they, they really, the foundation is there with Andromeda. I think they, they, it's a good starting point, and I think that they can build up from that. I don't think it's completely lost. Having another Andromeda game, I don't think that's a complete lost cause in my opinion. I think they can do it, and I think it should happen.